Hey there, let's try and understand how to find the units place of any cube. Let's take a number like 4 cube. How would you find the units place of its cube? You try to multiply 4 into 4 into 4, which is 4 cube. 4 times 4 is 16, 16 into 4 is 64. And then you would see the last digit, which is 4. So the units place of 4 cube is 4. Similarly, for 7 cube, you would multiply 7 times 7 times 7, and that would be 343. So the units place is 3. This is a simple approach for single digit numbers or maybe even double digit. But what about numbers like 394 cube or 567 cube or even larger numbers? What would you do then? I have a simple approach for you. Let's see how. Before we do that, we first need to know the units place of all these simple cubes. So one cube would be 1. 2 cube is 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 3 cube is 3 times 3 is 9, 9 into 3 is 27, so that would be 7. 4 cube would be 64, so 4 is the last digit. 5 cube would be 125, so 5 is the units digit. 6 cube would be 216, 6 is the units digit. 7 cube would be 343, 8 cube is 512, 9 cube is 729, and 10 cube is 1000, with 0 as the units digit. And this is the table that you would get. For 0, you end with 0. For 1, you end with 1. For 2, we end with 8. For 3, we end with 7. For 4, we end with 4. For 5, we end with 5. For 6, we end with 6. For 7, we end with 3. 8, we end with 2. And 9, we end with 9. You don't need to memorize them just yet. Now, let's see a different set of numbers. Look at these numbers. We have a bunch of cubes over here and we have their answers. Could you find anything interesting? From these numbers? Take a good look. Here is another hint. Here is one more hint. Did you find the pattern? If you noticed, these numbers are exactly the same as the one we had before. For 0, we have we end with 0. See, 100 cube ends with a 0. For 1, we end with a 1. 141 cube ends with a 1. For 2, we end with 8. 352 cube ends with an 8. We don't really mind what these other digits are. We just need to know what the units digit is. And if you verify all these numbers, you see that the table remains exactly the same as we had before. That's very fascinating. This means that only the units digit of the number matters for the units digit of the cube. None of the other digits seem to contribute to the units digit of the cube. Now, why is that? Why does only the units digit matter? Let's take an example of number like 34 cube to understand why. This has to do with the basic principle behind multiplication and how it works. When we multiply 34 by 34 by 34, let's do it step by step to see what happens through the process. So first, let's multiply 34 by 34. The first step would be to multiply the units digits. So 4 times 4 is 16 and then we multiply 4 3 is 12 plus 1 is 13. So we get 136 when we multiply 34 with 4. Next step, you always put a 0 below this number and then you multiply the rest. So 3 4 is 12, 3 3 is 9 plus 1 10. So 102 and you end up with 1156. So as you can see, it looks like this number never changes, right? This number never seems to change because you always have a zero below this. When you multiply any two numbers, the units digit of the number always depends only on the units digit of the multiplicants. Because we always put a zero for the further digits, right? When we multiply these digits, you always get a zero below that. So this number never changes. And the same continues for the next set as well. So when you multiply 1156 with 34, see what happens. So we multiply 4624, and then whatever other multiplication, we get 4624. So we end with a 4. So 4624, that 4 remains the same. And if you multiply 3 with this, before you multiply, you always end up with a 0 first. And then you multiply the remaining. So 3, 4, 6, 8. Doesn't really matter what it is because this is not going to change. 4 plus 0 is always going to be 4. So again, 4624, the last digit of this multiplication only depends on these two unit digits. So this number, is only dependent on these two digits. So this means that any multiplication, the last digit is only going to depend on the units digit of the numbers of the multiplicants. 
So 4 times 4 times 4 is going to be the same as 34 times 34 times 34 for the units digit of the cube. So the units digit of a multiplication product is only dependent on the units digit of the multiplicants. That is a very useful rule for us and makes our life very simple. And this is the table that we started with. And this is the only table you need to think about because any number that ends with a 1 will always have 1 as the last digit of its cube. And a similar thing happens for all these other digits. And we have only 10 digits. But do you need to memorize this? I have a simpler way for you. It turns out that we have a further easier pattern to understand. So the first pattern is digits 0, 1, 4, 6 and 9 remain unchanged when cubed. So 0 remains as 0, 1 remains as 1, 4 remains as 4, 5 remains as 5, 6 remains as 6 and 9 remains as 9. Digits 0, 1, 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9 remain unchanged when cubed. That's pretty handy. And now the next pattern is digits 2 and 8 get swapped. So 2 becomes 8 and 8 becomes 2. They get swapped. And pattern 3 is digits 3 and 7 also get swapped. 3 becomes a 7 and 7 becomes a 3. Those are very simple patterns that we can easily remember for us to figure out the units digit of any cube. Let's use this new knowledge to solve some problems very easily. So let's first try 9999 cube. But do we really need to think about these other digits? No, because we only need to worry about the 9, which is 9 cube. 9 cube is, you could remember the 9 cube is 729, but from pattern 1, we know that digits 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9 don't change. So 9 remains as 9. So the last digit or the unit digit of this number will be 9. And for 6238 q, we have to look at 8 q. And as we know, the second pattern tells us that digits 2 and 8 swap. So 8 q will end with a 2. As simple as that. And finally, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 q, which is similar to 3 q. And as we saw, digits 7 and 3 swap places. So 3 cube ends with a 7. Great. We're all done. I'll see you in the next video.